Hello and welcome back. This is Death Stranding and episode 104. Okay, so that just triggered it straight away. You taking a nap? I'm getting a new bracelet. Hey, Sam. Thanks for coming back. Got something for you. These are your new cufflinks. They still work as a terminal, but I've added a weapon function. I was able to redesign everything from the ground up after the last connection. And they're weapons too now. That's right. Cord cutters. I should explain. BTs are connected to the other side via umbilical cords, right? When those cords bring the matter of our world into contact with the antimatter of theirs, boom, void off. But just as Dead Man theorized, your blood does have unique properties. It can be used to cut a BT's cord. So I've added that function. Cut the cord of the BT and it returns to the world of the dead. No BT, no void out. Win win. Okay. Oh, I won't get any. Can cut them loose. If you can get close them. enough without them noticing, yes. Cord snipping, super handcuffs. Right. Let's try them out. Where's her baby? Oh, that's Cut it. the cord connecting us. She's sound asleep. I made sure she got plenty of milk. Just do it. Please, Sam. Set us free. This world was never hers, but all the same, I didn't want her to leave it. Even though she's already lost. Truth is, she's not really my daughter. The attack and everything, that was all a lie? No, that part was true. My ovaries can't produce eggs, and Lochna has trouble with her uterus. Long story short, neither of us can have children. I was all right with it. I mean, <laughs> children, who needs them, I thought. But my sister thought differently. Lochna wanted a child, someone to carry her genes. She fell in love with another member of Bridges, but he died in an accident. She was devastated, of course, as was I. Back then, strong emotions like that, I could feel hers and she could feel mine. When I sensed her desire to join him, to end it, I went to her and said, let's have a baby. We took one of Lachna's eggs and fertilized it with his frozen sperm and I carried it to term. A healthy baby grew inside of me. But then there was the attack and our bond was severed. I wanted to tell her, but I was bound to the child. I couldn't just abandon her, but I was wrong. Lachna needs to know. You have to break some ties to forge others. Keep me tied to everything. If 
if we're going to reconnect the world, I need to reconnect with my sister first. So please, Sam. Do it. Oh. I'm gonna have to do some F to cut them bit of Wow. Who was that? Transport her all the way up there. Sam, would you set me up? I haven't been outside in a long time. It's just too much to take in all at once. Are you sure? I thought you might be claustrophobic after your time in the rubble. I'll be fine, so long as I can see out of the bag. The warmth of the light, the touch of the wind, the scent of the world. Well, you're gonna spend your time in a truck most of the most of it, most of your time Lucky in a truck, so... The two of you are still connected. Okay, Sam. Let's go. This is a really weird and fucked up way to travel, well, to transport live humans. I could understand the dead guys, that we would pack them up like this. Oh yeah, all my shit. Uh, yeah. I fucking hate that. Let's uh, do this. No, we can't do that, right? We can't leave her in the truck. Oh, fuck. Well, yeah. I had a special surprise prepped in everything. But it looks to me like your hands are full. <laughs> no biggie. We can always tweak the rules a bit. I'm gonna fight my way out of this. I have no weapons. I have no weapons. <laughs> Ooh, he looks hungry. All you gotta do to make it out alive is not get eaten. Sound like fun? Of course it does. Where? I have my truck here. Well, apparently not. So now my truck is gone as well.
Okay. You're out of the BT area. Yeah. But now I don't have a truck or anything. Oh, fucking hell. My truck up there. I think it is. Let's run up there. Main question though. Can I dump her in here while I pick up my crap? Oh, crap bola. So I need to pick up all this. Perfect. No, not swap, you asshole. Fucking hell. Perfect, now I need to go to the truck. A few extra packs down here as well. Apparently. Great, now can you please... Storage cargo menu, great. So, auto arrange that a bit. Sticky gun, bola gun. Well, basically, I'm going to have to offload almost everything. Confirm. Now I can go in and get her. Here we go, mama. There are a few things I do want to have on my person, like this weapon. Automatic grenade, maybe? So how many things can I actually carry with her there? None? Carry that. I got on the tool rack. Made pouches full. And attach it to suits. But I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Okay. Uh, let's do that. No! It fucking dropped it! Let's do that then. Use the vehicle. I don't know. This is dirty AF. I don't know. The... hospital I was staying at was crushed by a bridge. Still have nightmares about it. Still hear the crack before it all came tumbling down. I've been scared to death of bridges ever since. And yeah, I know how that must sound considering our employer. <sighs> I'm scared of the dark too. Don't sleep anymore. Can't.
one, I'm sorry. That way or the other way. Hey, Doesn't matter. Do you remember your own birth? No. Me. I remember being inside the womb. I wasn't alone. I could hear my mother's heartbeat. Hers. In Loch Ness. We were conjoined twins. One and the same before we were born. But then they tried to separate us. The surgery. The operation was successful. We were still one. We knew each other's thoughts without saying a word. My joy was her joy. Her pain was my pain. And no distance was too great for us to overcome. Some might call it a kind of telepathy. Lots of BT area. And we didn't get to hear the rest of her story because of that. That sucks. Sam. Some might call it a kind of telepathy. Divided in body. Join in spirit. We had a beach, just for us, one we shared. Our own private chiral network, you might say. With cupids, we can build one that will let everyone share what Lachna and I have. I saw it all laid out before me after I signed up with Bridges. A network that could unite everyone. No matter how scattered or different, it would make us whole. It wouldn't be about bringing people into line. It would be about bringing them into the fold, where they would share and share alike. I knew it could change the world. With Amelie's help, we finalized the Cupid design. But after the attack and the birth, everything changed. For the first time in my life, Lachna wasn't there. But I'm not alone anymore. I can feel her again. She's close. Yep, Thank she's you. right in here. Sam. Why isn't she just walking in? Walking in? No. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Hear your voice again. I shouldn't have kept you in the dark. Try to save her. I couldn't. You don't have to say it anymore. Lockman. You need to fix his cupid. 
I couldn't save our child, but you can save our world. Only you. I love you. You hear me? Forever. And always. Now, make the world whole, okay? Just like you make me. I don't understand. The, was the baby keeping her alive? Okay, so there's a trip to the incinerator plant. So they're not joining the UCA, but they're going to be connected to the network. All that she went through, I had no idea. I thought, I thought she'd severed our bond on purpose, that she stole our child and ran. I fixed your cupid like she asked. Limiter should be functioning properly now. There is one thing. Before I sat down to work, I took a long hard look at the code. I'm pretty sure someone's tweaked it. Either that or my memory's going to pieces. Someone rewrote your code? Rewrote might be overstating it. Let's just say it wasn't the latest version I released. And yet, because of it, I was finally reunited with Malingan. Could be we found our culprit already. She died beneath the rubble with our child still inside her. Her car passed over to the other side, but her ha remained bound to our dead daughter. She knew all of this, of course. That's why she kept one cuff loose. Didn't want anyone seeing her vitals. Shame she couldn't use her favorite invention. She did all that to keep me and our daughter safe. So Mama's real name was Mordling. Grand established. Mountain Nut City has joined the UCA. Nice. Stabilizer. What's that? A backpack customization feature. Mm. Uh, cargo catapult. Okay. Now that looks. Now that sounds interesting. Wonder how that works. Cargo catapult. Sis? I can hear you. We're whole again. We're, We're one. one. Like 
before in the womb, remember? Lincoln. Akna. Thanks to you, Edgenot City is finally within reach. And you, Lachna. Your work will help ensure that the Cairo network remains online. Together, we might just make it all the way west. Now then, Sam. There's something else you ought to know. We've been studying the data from when you claim you encountered those soldiers. We had audio, which doesn't paint a complete picture on its own, but... The languages, the names, and terms we picked out, the munitions we could identify. Everything seems to indicate that you were on a battlefield over a hundred years ago. World War I, to be precise. It wasn't a dream. Wasn't a hallucination. Maybe you were spirited away to another dimension or something. And given the time discrepancies, maybe you were sent to a beach. Can't say anything for certain. That said, I, I've never heard of a beach turned into a battlefield. But beaches are shaped by the will of the people who inhabit them. Perhaps Hartman can offer a more rational explanation. Beaches are his specialty. Unfortunately, he's still outside the Cairo network. Anyway, get some rest. No use dwelling on questions we can't answer yet. Yeah, that truck really needs some repairs. Okay, interestingly enough, we did not get a mission to um, deliver Mama or Morlingen to the incinerator. Avoiding autotoxemia. Of course, a quiet baby isn't necessarily a good thing, could mean the kid's suffering from autotoxemia. Is there anything interesting in here? Good thing here, B. I'm sure you are not like some porters I could imagine. Some guys practically shake their B odds till their BB start crying. Heh. <laughs> A lot. Some of them even ditch them when their crying becomes too much. Uh, I could tell my BB need an incubator. Oh. Okay, so nothing interesting. Carol Artist, married life, not what I expected. Did you meet up with Emily? Yeah, I hope she lives your memory. I didn't get so lucky in that respect. I'm sorry, but I just can't live with him anymore. Really? I went back to my mom's. It was terrifying making the trip on my own, but I watched the weather pattern for days and made it. Just barely. Maybe I should have asked for help, but I couldn't bear to wait in long for your sake. I hope yours and Emily's story has a happier ending. Really? Okay. The Fallen Angel. Martin not sitting up out of UCA. Lockton explained about how it was all a big misunderstanding. What a relief. The TARS got all gone too, thanks to the bomb. This is gonna sound weird, but you... Uh, the old trick on Mama's left shoulder didn't used to think much of it, but someone told me it was a symbol of her atonement. She did betray Locke, after all, even if terrorism might have been to, might have been to blame, couldn't help. 
able to thank herself as a fallen angel after that. Yeah, that's too much text. Recovery request. V, the porter had not one but two chips. You're not going to believe this, Sam, but that porter I hired, smart ass Joom, found two chips. But by the time I nailed down the location of the second, it had been snatched by terrorists. Uh, Should have figured it out sooner. Thought I'd mastered your systems, you know. Took my eye off the ball for a second. Fuck. Probably brought the ship back to base already, too. You gotta get it back, Sam. These trips are my only chance. Get your ass to the distro center north of Mountain Knot City to grab that order. Nice. Um, okay, in that case... I think we should just... Okay, so I can't leave. Why can't I leave? Okay, is there something I should do here? I don't want to change the color scheme. Okay, I don't care. Got weapons. More weapons. More weapons. Oh, what the hell? Where's BB? BB's gone. That's what we're supposed to do. Hello? BB stole. Ooh, looking for this? Surprise! Fragile warped me here. I finally got to visit the beach. Well, her beach. Don't worry. I didn't come all this way for the sightseeing. Your beloved BB has a serious issue. Did he have that scar across his face before? You may recall me explaining that these incubators connect BBs via the chiral network to their still mothers back at HQ. Bridge babies are quite literally bridges between this world and the other side. Their place is not here with us, nor with the BTs over there. They belong precisely in between, with no greater affinity for one world or the other. But BB-28 here has been leaning further and further towards the world of the living. Towards you, sir. <laughs> It's because we're partners. Hmm. Partners? Sam, a baby's a tool, not a human being. Bridge, yes. Baby, no. So tell me what the problem is. This tool, this weapon, is transforming into a living being. It's gaining weight. Its brain activity is increasing. It's accumulating memories. BB-28 is becoming self-aware. Becoming an actual child. Doesn't sound like a problem to me. It's hardware, Sam. Manufactured for a purpose. A purpose it cannot fulfill outside the pod. There is a 70% risk of catastrophic failure simply in removing it. Which hardly matters because at this point, it'll cease functioning within a couple of days. Cease functioning. That's right. Not even the pod will be enough. It'll be bricked. What do we do? We reset it. You'll have to leave it with me, of course. I'll cut the cord that links the two of you and then perform an operation that reconnects it to the other side. Think of it as a little tug to correct its alignment. To put it back where it belongs, right between the world of the living and the dead. But like I said, you'll have to be without it for a while. Oh, fuck sure this will work. <laughs> of course. One catch, though. The surgery may erase its memories. Erase? Will forget me? Relax. The BB will still function as intended. You just have to trust me. Come on. Uh, I'm telling you, it's like a game. 
Just let me try. Get started. Again! <laughs> and this is why I hate these things. Uh, Sam. I was already filthy from my trip through the beach. But now your BB has added insult to injury. Do anything with those. Where the paws? What? Shh. No one can spy on us in here. It's just you and oh, me. Okay. No audio records of what we say. No video for lip reading analysis. Get closer. Die Hardman cannot know of this. Understood? I've been doing some digging into the first BP experiments. Officially, they were suspended by the government following a void out which claimed the life of the then acting president. Documents were shredded. BB technology banned, yes? But obviously, the experiments continued in secret on the direct orders of President Strand. Bridget? were essential to solving the mystery of the Death Stranding. Oh, she had big plans for them. They weren't designed just to be BT detectors. She wanted to incorporate them into the Cairo network to facilitate travel to the beach. But none of her plans ever came to fruition. And now BB Tech has fallen into terrorist hands. What's Die Hardman's part in this? I'm afraid to find out. I don't know how long he was working for Strand. I don't even know his real name or his face. I thought you might, since you two go further back. He was already wearing a mask when I met him. Something about burning his face. Brian, sorry. Any data we have from back then is classified at the highest level. As far as I know, the director is the only one with clearance. But the Cairo network presents a new opportunity. By compiling fragmented data in the public domain from all across the country, I might be able to piece together a little more of the puzzle. Be careful, Sam. They're watching. Well, Sam, you're a good sport. I'll give you that. <laughs> Still, it's a fine way to get out of doing the laundry. <laughs> Just fix BB, all right? Oh, no. You'll be doing the fixing. I'd never manage without your help. 
Check the delivery terminal upstairs for the details. When you're ready, of course. So, we're gonna have to play without BB. Which means we can no longer see BTs. Make BB feel better by connecting up nearby facilities with your Cupid to increase chiral density. Oh, frickin' hell. This is gonna suck balls. 